Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Welcome to Arlington, everybody. It's time for football and time for the Cowboys kickoff classic. McGee has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. And there's the opening kick of the season. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 28. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Second and 15. Ball in the 23. The cavalry's coming. And they make the stop at the 38. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Smart call here to trust your line and the ball carrier to gain the yards they had to for the first down. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. Pick up. That's good to be in That makes it 33. 
third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws, and he's right there to knock it away. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. the 26-yard line. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it second and six. This is the 10th play of this drive. They'll give it off here. That's a great tackle. The seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nearly intercepted. Brady drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. We're at the 12th play of the drive. The Horned Frogs linebacker had come out of this game earlier with an injury. We don't know for certain, but it looks like he might be able to get back in this one. Steps out of bounds at the 10-yard line. It's third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. They'll bring him down right around the two-yard line. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. And he has it on the corner. And he's taken down around the one-yard line. Big stop by the defense. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. But this defense just has too much speed. It did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run there as they work the outside. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He fights forward to about the 10. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And down he goes at the 15. That is just sound fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. From their own 15-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. So at the end of one, still no score. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Nice run up the middle. First 
from their own 29 yard line. First down. Quick throw incomplete one of his receiver and he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved but as you can see he's upset here with himself. Nice run and he's brought down. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. Mitchell will be the return man. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Tackle the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Wants to go long and does. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it first and ten. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Set, rain at the time. Rain. And he's tackled around the 27 yard line. to the senior and they make the stop at the 10. From the 10 yard line first down they need to find a way to get points this trip in the red zone. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Williams, again, got the corner. Touchdown, LSU! He adds the extra point. So that's a six play, 70 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 36 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 46.
gets it out to about the 47 yard line. Thomas only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. The Horn Frogs will use their first time out of the half. And he just gets rid of it. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. him down for a loss and they back up three yards on that play pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call Bowen is waiting for the snap <laughs> tackle at the 35 The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. LSU is up seven. complete there for about five yards and a first down. He has such a quick first step. Once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant, he already had the space he needed for the first down. A pickup of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. From the 48-yard line, Second down. Looks left, finding his tailback, and he's tackled right away. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. From the 15, tackle made at the 16-yard line. TCU's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around, and you have a good idea of how you want to attack a defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. And you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at that drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the seventh inning. Caught with room to work. Brought down at the 48-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he is drilled at the 45-yard line. He heaves it to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 83-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. We're even at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. 
They'll bring him down at the 29. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. So we've played two quarters. We get a tie game at 7-7. David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 27-yard line. Pass complete and taken down immediately. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Number eight on the drive. About two yards there on that delayed handoff. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He has some room. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. 
They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Denman is back awaiting the punt. Gets to about the 47 yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. From the 49-yard line, second down. Here we go. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That'll make it third down. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Great punt there to pin them deep inside their own territory. Yeah, a lot of times those punts will hop right into the end zone, but this time it didn't go anywhere. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And he's taken down at about the 11. Irby gets eight yards on the play. That brings in second and it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He's taken down at the 12. So at the end of the third quarter, we're even at seven in this one. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. What a game right here early in the fourth quarter. Tie ball game, and neither team has given an inch. Brown to punt. Fields at the 44, brought down at the 37. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That makes it second and ten. From the 38-yard line, second down. Fires that quickly to the tailback. 
They'll bring him down around the 34-yard line. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Here we go. Let's go, 88. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what? That was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. pick up the first down and the ball will change hands great play there by the D it's early in the season but they showed they don't get rattled at all I give them a lot of credit we might have overtime in the back of our minds but down on the field that hasn't occurred to anyone they want to end this thing in regulation Taken down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets it out quickly. And they push him out at the 44-yard line. Browning awaits the snap. Denman takes it at the 23, and he's tackled at the 26. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Field. And they make the stop at around the 38 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's hit and taken down. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route. And how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. But when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. Tackle at the 16. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. We're down to just a minute in this game. Anderson gets the carry. Nice run there. Anderson gets six yards on the carry.
Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. The halfback with a carry. He makes it to the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, it's second down. Fires it out. He's tackled right away. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's got the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. Seven yards there for the halfback, and he also picks up a new set of downs. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down. He scrambled, tries to get around the corner, decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty five. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the five yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He lets it go. It's broken up. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. Five, three, five, three, They'll spread the field with five wide. Ready, huh? Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. Some open field. Drew picks up about four yards after keeping the ball on the option. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the eight yard line. Here we go. 
And he's going to come up with a sack. As an offensive line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. Defense brought pressure. At that time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. The linebacker was able to come up with a sack. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on the 17-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. There's a the strike complete. Touchdown, Tigers! Splits the uprights with the extra point. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. Gets it out. He's met immediately. They stopped for a six-yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From the 31-yard line, second down. the reception look out nobody there and he scores touchdown here's the PAT to tie this thing up and he hits the PAT Just like we talked about earlier, now that we're going to a third overtime, the offense must go for two if they score a touchdown. First and 10, ball on the 25-yard line. And he's gonna be sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. has the INT. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Going for it all to the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. So with the first possession in the third overtime, this offense takes it in for six. There's no resting easy yet. They still have to stay on the field and try to convert a very crucial two-point conversion. So the offense is going to go for two. TCU with a six-point lead. Caught it, and the conversion is good. the 25 yard line first down tackle made at the 17 that makes it second and two He's tackled. 
tackled around the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. this game away, does it? I can't wait to see what happens on this two-point conversion. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. In the shotgun and five wideouts. They don't get it! performance today I think nationally Kirk is going to take a hit as him being a superstar what do you think yeah I think it could hurt him but at the same time the team won he didn't have a great game but the fact that his team was able to kind of rally and still come up with a win I still think could help his cause as far as some of the national recognition so that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nestler saying thanks and we'll see you next time